Hello and welcome. This series of video lessons is designed to get you started with FileMaker Pro, a program that offers you powerful tools for organizing and managing information. I'm Ray Colligan, and I'll be helping you to get to grips with all the basics of FileMaker throughout these lessons. FileMaker Pro is sometimes described as easy to use, and that might be taken to mean that it's simple or somehow limited. But one thing that may not be immediately obvious is that FileMaker Pro is cleverly designed to provide tools for performing complex tasks in relatively straightforward ways. With FileMaker, there's a lot of power under the hood. So while you can keep it simple and get a lot of things done, when you need to do some heavy lifting, this is a program that'll stay with you all the way to the industrial strength end of database programming. This series of lessons will get you started with FileMaker Pro and will show you a lot of practical steps and techniques to enable you to find your way around and to accomplish what you want to. The lessons are organised into 12 chapters that deal with all the basics you'll need to build an essential skill set and start tapping the power of this versatile tool. I'm going to assume that you're pretty smart, as shown by the fact that you've found your way to these videos. But for this introductory title, I won't be assuming that you've used FileMaker before, or that you already know about databases or programming. I'll be starting from basic concepts and showing you how to apply them using FileMaker. Some of the topics I'll be covering in the videos will include the basics of creating a database, creating a file, adding tables and fields, entering, sorting and searching your data, creating screens and summaries, and all the way to working with basic calculations and building simple scripts that perform tasks automatically. For these lessons, I've primarily used FileMaker Pro 12, and there's a chapter devoted to the additional features in FileMaker 13. However, a majority of the techniques I'll show throughout will also apply to earlier versions, and you can expect that the concepts and a majority of the techniques will still be applicable in later versions as well. I'll be working on the Apple Macintosh platform, but don't worry if you're using a different operating system. FileMaker works very similarly on both Macintosh and Windows, so everything I show you in this series will work on Windows just as well. To help you get to grips with the features and capabilities of FileMaker, I'll be showing you how to make a start towards building a real database application. The particular example I've chosen is a database for keeping track of quotations and references, such as you might use while preparing research papers, articles, study assignments, essays, or the like. I've called the example database Bibliographile. Let's take a quick look. Here's an example of the completed bibliographic database. At the heart of the database is the Publications screen, where you can enter details such as the name of a book, the year of publication, the publisher, the authors, and so on. These details are stored in separate tables, and there are screens to view or search for individual publishers and for individual authors. Also on the publications screen is an area at the top right where you can enter one or more quotations that you want to reference in an article, paper, or assignment. Individual quotations may also be viewed, searched, or modified in their own screen. Then there is a screen to enter the details of each assignment and to view a list of the quotations that you've chosen for use in a given assignment. Back on the Publications screen, there's also a calculation that shows its result at the lower left and that uses information you've entered to automatically create a Harvard-style bibliography entry for each publication. Although it goes beyond the scope of this introductory title, you may be interested to know that using the information entered, a FileMaker system such as this one can be configured to compile the completed bibliography for each article or assignment and append it to the assignment automatically. Let's look at how this works in the finished bibliographile database. To show the process, I have a PDF file mock-up of an essay. It's six pages long but lacks a bibliography. Using the example database, I have only three quick steps to add a bibliography to the essay. First, in the assignment screen, I tell the database where to find the PDF file of the essay. Then I enter the number of pages, six, and click the button labeled Create Bibliography. Now, using data from the database entries for the assignment, 
FileMaker has generated a new version of the essay mock-up that includes a seventh page, the bibliography. This has been a very quick tour of the completed example bibliographile database system, but through the course of this series of lessons, I'll be walking you through a selection of the techniques required to begin the process of creating a database system of your own with some of these features and functions. I'm looking forward to working with you. Let's dive in and see what we can accomplish.